Tis the season for gift giving, and with your long list constantly growing, it can get overwhelming, right, and expensive. So where do you draw the limit on how much to spend, and who do you buy a gift for? And what about cash? National etiquette expert Diane Gotsman is here with her tips to take the stress off of gift giving. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Let's start with cash. What about it? Is it too impersonal? No. You know what? It's a great gift for high school students, for newlyweds, for college grads. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in years past, Aunt Edna would say, you know, <laughs> cash is too impersonal. But really and truly, cash is king. You're not going to give it to Aunt, Aunt Edna, but you're going to think about who you're gifting that needs that cash, and it would be a great gift. Yeah, I know a lot of people would be grateful when they open that card and see the cash so That's they right. can maybe buy what they really need. And you just said, you just said the card. And yes. always enclose it in a card and write a little handwritten note. A little impersonal if you're just saying, here's a 20, yeah, Mary Christmas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what about your boss? What's the proper etiquette there? Do you give a gift to your boss you always? You don't gift your boss. Mm -hmm. So better than giving a gift to your boss, because sometimes we want to give our boss a gift. We like them. Go into a gift pool with the whole office. I like or that. bake something and bring it for him or her and then bring some for the office as well. That way it doesn't appear like you're trying to receive extra special favor. Oh, good point. We were chatting during the commercial break. And what if you have to decline a gift? You maybe want to take it, but you just can't accept it. We were thinking maybe a puppy. Do you give it back? And say thanks but no thanks yeah you know if you if you want the puppy and you're going to take care of the puppy great but if you can't take care of the puppy you're going to say you know this puppy is precious but i am not in a position where i can take care of it and it wouldn't be responsible for me to accept this gift but thank you so much you take it exactly <laughs> don't give anyone a puppy especially if they That's have right. kids and the kids see it you're keeping that puppy that's right <laughs> and you're taking care of it so you know think before you give a puppy what about re-gifting I don't think I've ever done it. I, I may have given something to my sister that someone gave to me, but I was transparent about it. Um, what's your take on regifting? Well, I think regifting is fine under certain situations. So you want to make sure that you're giving a new gift in the same packaging that, mm -hmm. that it came in, unless it was a gift that was taken out of a box and put into a more expensive box. You know, you don't want to fool someone. And you don't want to re-gift it in the same circle. So you're going to be very careful, basically. Putting it in a more expensive box, that's got to be the lowest of the low. Here, it's a <laughs> Tiffany bracelet. No, it really isn't. And finally, what about gag gifts? Uh, everyone has to be in on the joke, right? But that's right. So if you know the person really well, if you think, if you know for certain they're going to enjoy the gag, Go ahead, but it's risky. You're not going to do it with colleagues. You're certainly not going to do it at the holiday mm -hmm. office exchange. It may be your boss. So think carefully before you gag. Give yeah. a gag gift. Make sure everyone is in on it. And I've always wondered about this. It's the holidays. It's a time to meet. maybe be extra generous with your tipping. Who do you kind of put money aside for? Oh, my goodness. Well, there's a lot of people. And so, you know, you want to start now even thinking about it for next year. Not necessarily, you know, ho the ho mm -hmm. Christmas has not yeah. even come. But you know, there's other holidays that have already passed. So you start early and there's hairstylists, there's manicurists, there's dog groomers. I mean, uh, there is a whole list of people. But the bottom line is you give what you can afford. If it's going to stress your budget. Yes, you want to stay within your budget. That's right. It's not an obligation. It's a generous act of kindness, but you do as much as you can do. It's all about giving and not receiving and right, staying within your budget. Diane, great to talk to you. Thanks. Thanks so much.